Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In this video today we have another subscriber suggestion, this time from someone called Kevin Tube Anthony who asks, can you make a spiral staircase elevator? So what I've done is made a redstone spiral staircase, I'm not too sure what the elevator part is. Um, if I have done it wrong, please let me know in the comment section below and I apologise and I would fix it for you. But I have made which I think is what you asked for. So as you see here, this is it. As you see, it is absolutely tiny, only 4 by 3 by 3 which is definitely the smallest design on YouTube, both for Java and for Bedrock. And I think it is the smallest possible design you can make it. So we can flick the lever here. And as you can see, we now have a spiral staircase which we can go down underneath our flooring which obviously would be here and then when we're done we flick the lever and everything comes back up. Now when we flick the lever here we can see we have a redstone lamp in the wall and also when we go down we have one flashing block as you see there. Now if you don't like these two things all you have to do is make this design, remove that lamp, remove that observer and place something like this here and I'll show you how to do this obviously at the end of the video which removes those two things, which obviously makes it slightly bigger though, so not keep, this isn't the smallest, that's the smallest, but I will show you how to do both, okay? So without further ado, let's get on with this tutorial. So for this truly amazing build, you're going to need seven sticky pistons, two repeaters, five redstone dust, two observers, one redstone lamp, one redstone block, seven blocks for your redstone to go on, ten of your floor blocks, so nine for the, actually the top layer and then one for the bottom, and one lever. So to start, place one floor block down like this. So this is where your staircase is going to start. Okay, now come underneath this block, come down one, then two, place a sticky piston, remove these two blocks and place a block here. Then come under this sticky piston, place a block here, one more, Sticky piston here and here, remove these two, floor block, place a floor block here, place a regular block here, sticky piston facing this way, one above it, one up like that, and a floor block like that. Okay, now what you want to do is come round to the back, place a block here with a lever on it, block here, one to the side, repeater on two ticks, into a block, Sticky piston here, remove that block, redstone dust, redstone block here, come around this side, place a block, and a repeater on three tick delay. Now we want an observer from that repeater into that block, so you might want to remove this block first as it's ma it makes it slightly easier. Place the observer in, and then we can place the block back. Block here, block here, redstone dust, redstone dust, then come here, place a block here, two pieces of redstone like that, redstone lamp, and, and then observer facing this way. And surprisingly that's everything done. So at the moment, obviously it's off, then we flick it on, there we are, and it goes down. So now what we have to do now is just fill in these blocks for our flooring, and now you're completely done. Right, now I'm just going to show you how you can make it so you can remove that redstone lamp. So first of all, remove that redstone lamp, remove that observer, and you can place a normal block back here. Come around to the front, so where the two sticky pistons are, place a torch here, an observer facing upward, block here, redstone dust. And that is literally it. So now when we flick our lever, everything gets pushed back. And there we are. Now uh, we can go down into our build and even place some blocks here. Cover up everything. Okay. Now if you want to wire this up properly, to so say an external lever or a button, you cannot just run a repeater into this block. Now I have no idea why, but you can't. So I'll show you what happens. If you run a repeater straight into there with a lever, so it will close, but when you open it, Oh, it works this time. <laughs> That's typical. But it doesn't see there, it doesn't always grab this. Now I don't know why because a repeater is still hard powering that block. I have no idea why it does that. So what you have to do instead, if you want to wire it up, is remove this block and this lever, come out three blocks like this, sticky piston facing inward and a block of redstone. 
and that will work. So now if we just put our floor block on, like that lever, we can see we can flick our lever and now we'll always get retracted. I have no idea why this does this. I think it's a slight bug in the redstone mechanics, which will probably soon be fixed, I hope, to make that a little bit easier. But if you want to wire it up, you have to use one of these. You can't use a, a lever, unfortunately. Uh, sorry, a repeater, sorry. That's so strange. <laughs> And this is the end of the tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video or like my design, please give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content. Anyway, I'll catch you all guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye!